today on Knife Banter. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Do you want to go do karate in my garage? Yep. Let's talk knives. What's up, guys? Today on Knife Banner, we've got Ryan from CRKT. What's up, man? What's up, Kurt? It's, dude, I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here, you guys. Right? I'm excited to have you in between us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like your get-ups, too. Oh, like this. Uh, this, actually, let's take care of this right now. Um, we just wanted, we guys, we had a really fun video idea planned in the fall. Well, due to some staff changes, uh, we couldn't make the trip happen. So... We just wanted to show Ryan how committed we are to making it happen in 2022. Wow. In fact, we made a giant coupon to show you how committed we are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn that in to us anytime you want us to come fishing. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, you ducked out on me, man. That's Dude, your coupon Circumstances, invite. you know, sometimes <laughs> sometimes little speed bump gets in the way. We we're going to go catch some dinosaurs, and you said, sorry, can't make it. Dude, <laughs> trust me. Set that up to set I up wanted to be there. Thank you. Okay, so. Looks fantastic. That's the coupon for you guys <laughs> to you. hang on to. Submit it anytime. Submit it anytime. We just wanted to show you how <laughs> prepared we are. Oh, I appreciate that. All right, guys, now we're going to speed ramp this part where me and Dallas get out of this fishing gear. All right, guys, Ooh. now let's jump into this. Ryan, these are all the cool knives for 2022. Yes. New stuff, some new uh, variations yep. of older models. Yeah, so this is uh, some of our new 2022. Right. We couldn't show everything, um, but we definitely have some winners on the table. We'll start off with our M16. Probably our most iconic I would say line so. of knives. I would say sure. so, for sure. So, you know what? I'll hand you guys. There's three different models here. So, this is our new M16 with our deadbolt lock nice. by Flavio Iacoma and our assisted opening mechanism by Ken Onion. So, this is a powerful combination. This is Kit Carson, Flavio Iacoma, and Ken Onion combined into that's one a, knife. That's a lot. That's a big collaboration that is a three-headed monster that really is it's a huge yeah. collaboration yeah so some unique features here d2 blade steel it's a nice working blade steel yeah i like that again it has a reinforced pocket clip on the back you know you can uh, use it and oh, abuse yeah. it like i know you do oh yeah and then again has the um deadbolt lock mm -hmm. extremely strong simple and safe and then just flies out with that assisted opening mechanism Guys, so I, I actually think this is really great. Yeah. Especially to uh, put some life into an old classic that you guys have had for years and years and 1998. years. 1998. That's when the first M16 was wow. introduced to the throwback. line. That's throwback. That's throwback era. That's that older throwback era. That older is. Older than the kids these days. Right? <laughs> guys, I actually, I think this is really cool how you guys have slimmed down the deadbolt and... Uh, it, it just makes it really accessible, you know? It exactly. does function pretty good. I kind of like it. Yeah, so you got the big dog. Yes. And you have the sleeker, slimmer 03 DB, which is the okay. spear point. I have the 02 DB, which is the smaller Tonto. Okay. Yeah. You That's know, this cool. is, my, my son-in-law has, I believe, the older version. Right. Is one of the, one? I mean, we probably have, shoot, yeah, 40 with different safety and stuff on it. With the auto locks. Yes, yep. exactly. With this, And he he actually took that off, but that's what he carried when he's in, on his kit. He carried it on his kit when he's in Afghanistan, deployed to Afghanistan last wow. year. So, you know, when he's when he's taking that, and he's like, yeah, this is what I'm taking, this is why I'm taking it. I thought that was pretty cool, because yeah. you know, that was what he was, at some point, could potentially, uh, his life could depend on. So. Absolutely. That's really oh. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love the M16 line. Everybody has loved it from the beginning. Deadbolt, spring assist. I yeah. really like this. Not, not to, now I say that about all the knives. I'm, 
I love all the knives. I love every knife. They all I love really you. Like them. Thanks. Thanks, little knife. I love you. You complete me. But no, seriously, I really like the the deadbolt. Yeah, the deadbolt's I've been great. Into, like your axis locks and stuff. But man, not yours, but axis locks in general. Sure. But that deadbolt, this. This yeah. might be this might be a new favorite. This is the ticket. Well, man. and you guys have been working on the deadbolt for years yeah. now, yeah. and I feel like in this smaller version, especially how you guys have the machining here on the button, like you get a good purchase on it, yeah. especially for the M16, which is kind of tactical driven. You sure, know? It, it sits just proud enough where you can find it with gloves on. Yep, you know that's intentional. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. Yep, this is our it's new not intrusive. I like, like that. New M16s. New the M16s. All right. Next, we have our, oh my gosh, too good. <laughs> Guys, this CEO is gonna, compact. This is going to be <laughs> fire. Everybody is going to love this yep. knife. I've played, I played with some of these before we started filming, and that knife is going to go like hotcakes, I'm telling you. I know you want to hold it. I do, actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that is our uh, new uh, CEO. So it's the CEO Compact. It's about an inch and a half overall, um, smaller, three quarters inch taken down on uh, the blade and handle. So just a, a great compact everyday carry. We're also coming out with the black version Ooh. as well. So this is the uh, CEO Flipper, just all blacked out. Black hardware, black clip, black blade, everything. Dude, Let me hold that one. You this can hold one, that one right here. We have our CEO family now. It is nice, smooth, refined. The pocket clip, reversible as well. You can flip oh, it yeah. right left right carry. There. That is actually GRN, but it looks almost like aluminum. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought it was aluminum. Yeah, That's it, what I it thought. looks aluminum. Has that nice gunmetal look to it. That's cool. This looks really nice. Yeah, I think the this flipper is... works really, really well as well. Sometimes when you get those small knives, the flipper has to be dialed, and it is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no, this thing jumps open. I mean, it's just like the CEO. The CEO yeah, and then this is jumps a, open. the original. I wanted to show the family. So, uh -huh. Yeah, Look la familia. Happy family, and then we're adding to the family with a Blade HQ exclusive. That's right. I'm so excited. Dropping probably mid-January, somewhere around there. We got two different versions. Kurt? Yes. Dallas, take a look at those. Mm -hmm. We have our CEO flipper with the jade scales. You have the stone wash and you have the smoke wash or black stone wash. I love those it. Those are sweet. The this natural is jade nice. is super fun. I mean, you can customize it if you if you want to. You can leave it if you want to. I, I know around the office, we have quite the collection of natural jade. So to get They're the everywhere. CEO in natural jade is really exciting. Yep. So that's cool. I love yeah. how the, I love the finish of that thing. It's yeah. smooth. It feels good and yeah. it flicks just, I mean, it's, it's the CEO, folks. What's not to love? <laughs> right. I mean, you all know this one and love this one. Yeah, we've been working on that for a while. I'm really excited to see this drop. I was excited to uh, get samples before I flew out here. So yeah. I could show the community. Really excited about it. Oh, still is it running? Uh, so this is going to be D2. D2? Yep. D2 on the <clears throat> exclusive. Nice. So yeah. I like it. I'm excited. So I'm also very excited for this next one. It, yeah, so. it has a similar vibe to the CEO. <laughs> it does have a similar vibe. You know why? Why? Because it's designed by Richard Rogers. Who designed the CEO? Oh my gosh. The is, this one, Richard is this one named the VP? Instead of CEO, <laughs> it, it should have been. I was just curious. So Richard, <laughs> -O -O. Richard has done um, the Quattro, the Cinco. Now this is the Sace. <laughs> yes, That's awesome. So you can tell, definitely has the CEO DNA. Just really cool look to it, and that almost looks like leather. Yeah, doesn't it? I noticed that earlier. So it looks cool like inlay. the texture of inlaid leather. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> um, but again, that is a glass reinforced nylon. Looks like leather. Um, I really like the clip. The clip is on standoff. I was noticing that. To the other Early, side. I was noticing kind that. of a cool little feature. Also has a lanyard hole on the back. Um, yeah, that's cool. I feel like lanyard holes are hot right now. They are. A lot yeah, of people, people like their them. lanyards and beads and their ranger eye patches and all that stuff. I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? 
I like. This one's really okay, cool. cool. Yeah. I, <laughs> I like this. I'm an old it's guy. like <laughs> it kind of feels like a CEO on steroids a little bit. Yeah, it, it's going to be uh, I guess a little bit more robust. Has a little bit more heft to it. Um, I, I just think it's a, a great looking model. I was playing with this one earlier a little bit, and man, it, I just I can't get over how light it is. It's yeah. extremely light. Yeah, two uh, two ounces. Yeah, and it, the action works great. I'm almost great action. It's on IKBS ball bearings, okay. caged ball bearings. That's why it's so smooth. That's why it's so smooth, man. Oh, that is great. That's a great piece. That's awesome. Yeah, that is a so great. That piece. is our sace. The sace. And then you had a little something for this guy, didn't you? Guy, you know, maybe it sings to my grandpa heart. Well, that's. <laughs> That's I mean, actually how it's designed. So again, this is a Richard Rodgers design. This is the Venati. Um, and so this is his take on a classic slip joint. And yeah. that's what he did originally when he built his customs. So he's taken it old school. This is something that his grandpa would carry in his pocket. It's a classic California clip. So it's gonna be a little bit longer mm -hmm. on, on the blade. Um, you got your bomb shield on the front as well, which is very traditional. Also, all, um, all of these are keyed as well. So you can take the knife apart, extremely easy as far as taking out the oh, scales. Yeah. All G10, no liners. Um, this is 1.8 ounces. This There's thing nothing is, to not love about this knife. This thing is so light. And I love, it's, we just did our, our slip joint video a little while ago. Anyway, yeah. and just missed it. <clears throat> just missed it. And Dang this thing it. here, this one Dang here it. would have been in a run for one of my favorites. Oh, I it's, mean, I love it's all great. of them. But Honestly, the, the walk, the talk, uh, oh, it's walking how and talking. It, oh, big time. Did you play with it, Kurt? Yeah, I did. You got your half oh. stop. Yeah, yes. just half stop. Oh, that's nice. Half stop. But yeah, dude, that's buttery smooth back there. That's nice. That is great. Plus, I, I just love, love the, the shield. The shield. Yeah, they the throw shield. in there, different yeah. shapes. Yeah. Richard Rogers cannot miss. He that can't. is a great he can't. piece. He can't he miss. He's an instant bucket. Dude. Yep. He's just raining threes on us right now. <laughs> All right, Kurt, I want you to open this guy. Yeah! Open that guy. You know, flip it to the back. Flip it to the back. What's on the back there? <laughs> All right. Guys, that might be my face. It's like looking in a mirror, only not. How I think it is. sweet is that? How did I Dude, miss that earlier when I was playing with it? I swapped them out. Oh, okay. I was like, how did I miss that? I was playing Holy with that thing. Crap. So this is our Clever Girl Kukri. This is part of our Forge by War program. Clever Girl. Clever Girl. <laughs> exactly. And then he dies. That's kind of sad. I mean, it's a raptor. Anyway, yeah. keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is our Clever Girl Kukri, part of our Forge by War program, where a portion of the proceeds goes to the uh, charity, oh, yeah. uh, the designer charity of choice. So that's cool. That uh, was great really program, awesome. you know. Dude, I love that stuff. And so this is going to be Austin McGlon's take on a traditional kukri, where it's going to be a little bit smaller. Yeah. You can be a little bit more nimble. Has maybe a more tactical feel to it. Uh, still great for chopping, hacking, slashing. Are you anything you can do around the campsite? Are you kidding me? I just want to put this thing through a tree. <laughs> yeah, great for backpacking, camping. You can even potentially skin a uh, game. I also really like. The sheath. Yeah, that's what you can see cool. here. You actually pull up and you can. Yeah. How about how about you? Uh, since that's yours now, obviously. I mean, <laughs> I would be. Has your face on it. <laughs> yeah, you can just so kind of pull, pull up. up. Yeah. And for it, deployment. it makes it easy to not stab your hands because it has a big open lip back here. Yeah. You can for put safety it in. as well. Flared out so it doesn't. Yeah. You know, so you don't slice your hand off. Right. Kurt. Hurt. What was Sorry, that? I, I w that wasn't a jab. I don't cut <laughs> myself that yeah. often. So SK5 okay. carbon steel, a workhorse. Dude, this thing is awesome. Yeah, and it has your face on it. it Thanks, man. I, I honestly, I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's so cool. Dude, I want to go hack at some stuff. Well, let's go. I mean, it's still daylight out. It is. Go. Yeah, go and, for and it's again. not overcast like in Oregon for yeah, you guys. Yeah. Dude, this thing is sick. We should do Fruit Ninja again. Oh, are you kidding me? <clears throat> Dude, I will seriously. ninja all of the fruit in this <laughs> with this apple. thing. That is clever awesome. Gale. Yeah, Clever, clever Girl Kukri. Dude, I love the Kukris. This was your favorite. Yes. Or one of your favorites. One so I want favorites. you to open this. Well, I was playing and what does that say on there? 
It says everybody loves Dallas. Everybody you know what? Everybody Dallas. out there, we all love <laughs> Dallas. It's true. We all need more Dallas. Show your likes, comments in the comment section, and potentially, <sighs> Dallas might give you your own catch-all. Yeah! Really? I don't know how you're gonna do it, man. That's on you. Are you serious? <laughs> but you're giving me stuff to give to people? Yes. And that's yours as well. I gotta be honest, that is two of his favorite things, knives and giving. I'm so happy you like that because I showed you it earlier. You're like, this is my I favorite. I was it. like, how did I pick that? You <laughs> know it for you. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I appreciate it, man. I, I just closed my eyes and I was like, I think Dallas will like this one. No, you're 100% right because I was telling you. I love the blade shape, the the grip. Not the fangirl, I'm gonna a little bit. Oh, but <laughs> that grip, I mean, because usually yeah, when they're the rubberized like this, grip. Yeah, that rubberized grip, usually my fat hands won't fit in them. Usually I'm, I'm sitting here like this and I'm poking in the hand a little bit. This one here, it fits good. Yeah, it does Kurt, fit good. They had your great, hands. We're gonna, mine. we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna chop oh, some dude, stuff. Oh, dude, we're gonna go. Bro, I, we are definitely gonna go play with these in the miscellaneous wilderness. You kind of took me by surprise there a little bit. I don't get emotional, but I love getting gifts. But dang it, dude, this is what. Ah, cool. You're getting me, bro. You got me, awesome. bro. So this is, the, this is the this is the catch-all by Russ Comer. He's a big game guide and just an outdoorsman. He wanted to come out with a knife that mm -hmm. you could carry by the campsite. Oh, uh, that he so he only wants to carry two blades. So yep. his skinny knife and then a do all workhorse. The do all workhorse. Yep. That's this it. sitting here, my I, I just sent some of uh, my own hunting knives with my brother and my nephew out to Kansas to do some deer hunting. And this one here come next year because I think I think they're all out of tags. I don't have one, so I think next year I'm going to take and see if we can process some deer with it. Probably not this one because yeah. this is super special. To me? I'm excited for you to I give these so away. Excited. We're gonna have to figure out a cool to way to give them. Yeah. How, to however that. you want to do it, those are yours to give away to the community because everybody loves you, man. Dude, I love the community. I've said this once. I've said this a hundred times. I love the knife community. And then the this, they love you, man. Uh, I love best. it. I'm gonna set those over here. I'm gonna put the princess right on the top. <laughs> anyway, okay. I like stolen should we stuff. Should, should we move yeah. on? Yes. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. What's next? Okay. You can't talk CRKT without talking Ken Onion. No. I mean, you just can't. No. And so oh, not a, not at all. Yeah. This is the new Ken Onion facet. So sleek Ooh, that looking thing is guy. Good, good looking. Great name. You can see here, kind of with the smooth out facets on the back. Um, what Ken wanted to do, typically Ken is known for his organic shapes, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of finger grooves, deep bellies. Exactly. He wanted to come out with something more, I guess, ambiguous or less threatening, um, but still have kind of the, those subtle nuance hits of flair that Ken does with the hollowed out flipper. Um, this He's calling it his onion hybrid blade shape. Yeah. I think Burnley calls it a K tip. K tip. We've heard that before. Reverse yeah. Tonto. Modified. Reverse tonto. All you gotta do is throw yeah. modified. Modified in there. onion blade shape. <laughs> uh, I just think that it's just an awesome looking knife. Has the assisted opening mechanism. Really long blade. Uh, and then once when you get about 30 degrees with our assisted opening mechanism, it has that bias to close, which is really important really? for safety. Yes. So when so when you close a knife, the knife is deployed. Once when it hits about 30 degrees. It's gonna snap yeah, shut. Yeah, it does drop. Yeah, it's like that's uh, a little different than than most. Right there. Drop it. Drop. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so, so you that can do, you that can is do one also hand. that is Very also uh, Ken Onion design. He came out it. with this assisted opening mechanism. So I own a few Ken Onions. I own a few of them. Um, you know, in various ways. But yeah. I this one here. Use no hot spots on the handles. No, just that's what I was really just about nice. to comment was the, was the hot spots. Yeah. It's kind of smooth, but it doesn't feel like it'd fall out of your hand. Yeah, no, I it's, like that. it's a really nice knife. It's got the right length. Um, Looks good. You it know what? Good, feel good. It, it feels great. It feels really good. It's got the weight. It's got the yeah. nice long blade shape. Yeah, just, Plus, it's got a lot of stock all the way towards the tip yeah, with it that does. modified yeah. Ken Onion tip. It looks familiar. That's cool. Nice jumping up here. And it's something that you would that you'd want to use. Oh yeah, for sure. No, that's nice. Really yeah, frame like lock's it. nice. Plus it's Ken Onion. I mean it's it's Ken Onion. It's Ken Onion. 
this guy? Kenneth Onion. I'd like to meet him. <laughs> I, I'm going to meet him one day. One and day. I'm going to call him Kenneth, and he's going to be like, what? He's a great guy. He would, <laughs> he would laugh. <laughs> All right. All right, what do we got next? Next, uh, Leong Ma. <clears throat> we have the Ma Hawk. Ma Hawk! Ma Hawk! Ma Hawk, baby. How about you open this guy up? All right. This has the assisted opening mechanism. Yeah, flies oh. out. Which, uh, what is really unique about this blade is it's good for carrying reverse grip. So as far as cutting potentially like an apple mm -hmm. or cordage or rope this way, yeah. that is how the blade is shaped and designed for oh, that purpose. Okay, that's cool. So Leong is a forward thinker, always trying to come out with different concepts. That's and so cool. that was um, in the initial design that he submitted and he walked us through why he designed it that way. <sighs> Grandpa's everywhere, just love that. Yeah, you just cut because your you're over like there this. cutting your apple, you know, dealing out sage advice or yelling at the kids speeding <laughs> down the road in front of your house. Hey, yeah. whoever's slow driving down. that square body Chevy doing about forty in front of my house, dude, please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I love this because you get the details right. You get the uh, ball detent, detent, uh, yeah, the little the yeah. yeah, the ball on nice the touch. pocket clip, and it it's side. reversible. You got this nice your indent here for yeah. both. You know, my fingers come around and they sit in that indent. Yeah, it does. And it gives honestly, a little bit of character like, too. This thing is very refined for a knife that when you grab onto it, it feels, I mean, it's serious grip. Yeah. You know what I mean? My hand engulfs that pocket clip. Um, yeah, D2 blade steel. Jimping in the right it's spot. Slicey. Plus, it it's is slicey. So, it is so slicey with that hologram. Yeah, Look at that thing. Let me, let me. Except from you. I almost held on to I it. I know. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that action? That thing jumps open. That, it's got a fast. Yeah, it's got a snappy huge little assist. Ooh, yeah. Speed racer. Dude, I love that. Yeah. All right, next we have our blue metallic provoke. I'm excited about this one. I'm provoked. This is just it's blue am, and flashy, and oh, I love is. the provoke. It is a fidget knife, and I hey, love... Can you hold this, please? Oh, yes, I absolutely would. We also had our compact that we came out with as a mid-year, so you can see the, the yeah. compact versus the original. So this is going to be the same size as the original Provoke. It does have grivery, so the high-impact plastic, which is right. going to cut down on the cost. You got your zero-profile pocket clip on the back. Voila. And in a different cool metallic blue coloring. Dude. I love the blue. I love the provoke. This thing is so fun to I dude, I do the exact same yeah. thing. I'll I walk can't not. I'll grab one I out of our uh, library and I'll just sit there and flip it around walking around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, we have Mr. Allen Foltz. It's oh, like passing them around the table, having yes. to deploy and It's deployed. Boom. <laughs> Look boom. at that. That is our minimalist katana. So I that is our largest minimalist now in the line. The blade is actually larger than the handle. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so yeah actually it's the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> right? I love so the minimalist. So this was um, brought to the minimalist user group uh, for Alan to produce, and he listened, and this is what we got. We Dude, got a katana cool. on a minimalist handle, which is just exceptional. Yeah, that's really you know, cool. I love, again, fat hands plus a little, I mean, you got your little, this is when a lanyard comes in, but that's a fun little yeah, you can, a fun little thing. You, you can hit the pinky with the lanyard. Yeah, I got, got your robust on tip it. there, so it's not gonna bust. Okay, that's cool. Like yeah, I'm gonna hand it over. Kurt, it's a lot like uh, last year. You guys came out with the Persian, the Persian, the Persian, yeah, yep. Persian blade. Yeah. Oh Just man, the thing we, we have on is blade. We got the tapered spine. Yeah, can you uh, try to get all those angles? Yeah, there's a lot of angles. Got to hit I was the trying. angles. I was trying. Yeah, dude, that's cool. I love the minimalist line. I love that you guys have fun with it and try to expand it in different ways. Honestly, I think the minimalist is one of the funnest lines to see as it evolves year to year. Yeah, yeah. it's continuing to grow. And yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's a really cool one. Well, if you're talking a little neck knife. Right? right? Minimalist. Who doesn't that's wanna, minimalist. Who doesn't want a minimalist Well, some of the neck anything? knives are a little for me, I don't wear stuff around my neck. It's uh, kind of a prison thing. You know, you uh, have stuff somebody can grab onto, it could be a bad thing. But I'm kind of getting a little bit into the neck knife thing. 
You can carry it on your uh, hip as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was so. thinking on something small. I'm going to have something the big on my hip. Just saying. But <laughs> no, for like a neck knife, I love it. Anyway, I'm, I'm fangirling again. Okay, go on. Well, you're about to fangirl over this next one. The cute. The cute. Actually, have Kurt, Kurt please. It. Do so this is fun. This is our spec. Small pocket everyday cleaver. <laughs> I love that. So this is a hybrid between our spew, which we've had in the line, mm -hmm. that right. is going to be the handle, with our minimalist cleaver, which is actually a little bit long, longer right. than that minimalist. Combined is the spec. <laughs> Pretty dude, dang this cool. thing is everyday awesome. cleaver. Plus, dude, man, these scales. Yeah, those channel yeah. grooves. Oh my Ooh. gosh, that gives you such a good grip. That's dude. insane, dude. Yeah. Who doesn't want a cleaver? I mean, you on get their all person. the benefits of the Warren Cliff, but it's going to be a little bit more, I guess, beefy, you know, so you're not going to oh. bust your Warren Cliff tip on the cleaver. She's beefy. She is beefy. She <laughs> brawny. <laughs> she brawny. She thick. <laughs> Three C's. Guys, the gr here, Dallas, <laughs> put your put your big old pig diggers on there and see what you think about the scales. Ooh. You get you get a pretty get good a grip, purchase, dude. yeah, for real. I don't think it's gonna cause like a hot spot either. No. Sometimes on these, there's like some some deeper grooves, and you feel like you might get a hot spot. This one here, I mean, I mean, what are you doing with the EDC cleaver? I mean, <laughs> Whatever you want. What do you yeah, want to cleave? Exactly. Yeah. You, you want to cleave that orange in half? <laughs> dude, why do I love cute little knives? Because they're great. Because they're awesome, man. This is awesome. I love it. All right, that's all fun and cute. Now we're gonna get a little bit more serious, huh? Just, just a little. little. No, yeah, just a little. little. This is a little bit more serious. This is by our designer, James Williams. So this is going to be more of a uh, self-defense, close combat mm -hmm. right. style of knife. Um, Looks like yeah, that. yeah. Great grip. Just <clears throat> this crazy Tonto that James Williams comes out with, obviously extremely modified. And just um, purpose driven, right? Here, I gotta see this. Yeah, thing. put your. Put I was your, playing uh, with it earlier. I love the grip. It fits. Yeah, I mean it's a, a great slasher. Yeah, um, it's full tang. You got your lanyard hole in the back. We love lanyards. And with the texturing on the grip there. <clears throat> oh yeah. You know, if your hand's goopy or whatever, you know, you still have purchase. Yeah. This thing is... Uh, That's wicked, man. This is the that, real deal That right is here. wicked. Yeah, that is... Uh, I mean, James... If you guys don't know James Williams, follow him. He is unbelievable. It's very he, much his style of That's knives, his lane, right? Man. That is yeah. totally his lane. I love that you guys picked up uh, a design with him. I think that's... Thank you. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously... Yeah, it, it looks like what it could be used for, but... There's a lot of purposes with that knife, you know. You could still slicey dicey with this with anything you needed. Yeah, SK5 carbon steel. Oh, I like SK5. Yeah. G10 tacky handle. Just beautiful piece. Beautiful and yeah. mean. Beautiful All and mean at the same time. I like I it. I love it. All right, <laughs> last but not least, one of my favorites. This is our Shogun Hammer. I like it. This thing it. is awesome. So this was uh, based off a 1700 traditional pipe axe. Okay. So we actually filled in the pipe portion to be <laughs> oh. a hammer. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, no, Kurt. Oh, no. I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Sorry, it's filled in. I don't know how it works. Oh, it's filled in. Yeah, it's filled in. <laughs> no, this, I, I like the hammer tip because you don't have a ton of extra weight. Like, you could still throw this and have a fun throwing axe. But you have this little butt on the back. Honestly, I, I think this is fun to take camping. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Tent stakes. Yeah. Stakes, tent stakes. If you split your yeah. wood and then go throw your sweet Shogun hammer. Yeah, also uh, what's unique about this, uh, 1055 carbon steel. But if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see at home or you guys see how there's lines right here. These yeah. are actually heat treated differently. So it's going to be harder here, and I was wondering gonna... what that was. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. what I thought it would have been. But... Yeah, so so that's a deep, different heat treating, um, and then Tennessee hickory, and it also is shaped almost kind of like a teardrop a little bit. It's not yeah. going to be ex you know completely round, so it registers really nicely in your hand. Yeah, I think there was a movie uh, 
Clint Eastwood, Pale Rider, where he's like, nothing like a good piece of hickory. I think that's what it was. We'll have to double check on that, but that might be a meme shot for you. I don't know. But yeah. No, but seriously, this in here fills. I like the teardrop handle. Um, I <laughs> I still kind of want to... <laughs> I mean, I've never done that. I just want to give it a whirl just to try oh, it once, Oh, right? man. Dallas wishes <laughs> the Shogun hammer was a little uh, different. Dallas, it's I okay. love it. Oh, no, I great. think it's really cool how right, you guys though. have done the... Uh, Might be a little bit more useful. The two yeah. separate heat treats. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys did get your Christmas presents, yes. right? Yes. yes. I like to bring those every year. Thank you. There's one more that I have to give to you guys. And I did mention off camera, you guys kind of look like brothers. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't you guys kind of look like brothers? I mean, kind of, yeah. It's been Potentially said. Blade Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. Just give that a rip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> with, with your oh. knife there, Dallas. I, I love it with the knife! <laughs> Looking sharp. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll help hold it. Here, and, and then hold on, hold that. And then I also have some more gifts oh to, to give as well. Um, I'm just a very giving person. I oh see that. Oh my gosh. So if we could just go like this. <laughs> I cannot believe you guys did Oh my gosh, like this. dude, this is going in our cubicles. <laughs> this is okay, awesome. Okay, so I want you to take the knives that I just uh, gave you guys for Christmas. This is fantastic. Okay. That is wonderful. And can you um, please open up your other gift? With our knives. With your knives. All right. Nice. Kurt is just aggressive. I've got a kookery, man. I know. <laughs> Two hours later. Close enough. <laughs> oh, oh my man. gosh. Ryan, <clears throat> you never disappoint, man. <laughs> Blade Brothers. Kurt. Blade Brothers. <laughs> I know what we're doing next year. <clears throat> no, I, like I appreciate me. the ticket, though. Honestly, I'm going to submit that. You're coming out in Sweet. June, maybe actually September. Yeah. September is the time to come. Okay. Well, I'll take you surgeon fishing. Where? In, in you, Dallas. Where? Oh, up uh, Hood River. Okay. Columbia Gorge. I'm telling you, this guy bailed on me last time. It was cool. Hey, hey dude, I'll go. I got, I'll go all day. You invite me, I'm out. I'm, I'm messing with you. Oh, man. <clears throat> Who I can keep this, uh, my wife will be happy. <laughs> it looks good. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow. guys, tell us in the comments if we need to start a segment called Blade Brothers. Blade Brothers. <laughs> brothers don't shake hands. Uh, <laughs> brothers got a hug. hug. Do you want to do karate in my garage? Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, Ryan, thank you so much for always coming and making this so fun. Dude, I really appreciate it. Man, this is awesome. This is the best, <laughs> this is awesome. this is the best day of Dallas's life right now. Uh, so many mm. cool knives. We're excited for your 2022 line. I can't wait to see what else is coming yeah, out. Yeah, this isn't everything, so, so yeah. yeah, check the website for sure. <laughs> I feel like we should go walk around the building a little bit and see what people's reactions and are. All this Yes. Carry this yes. behind you guys. Yes. Just carry that <laughs> yes. All right, guys. That's what we're going to do. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for coming out. We love it when you guys come out. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> you freaking guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, go over and check out our other videos. Put them down below and uh, leave us a comment.